So if you're interested in the biofuel industry, I would say that's the most important thing for you looking at do you want to do this and how do I get into this? It really starts with that desire and that passion. My name is Bio Joe Renwick. I work at Green Energy Biofuels. I'm the co-owner and CEO. Our business is a recycling company and we recycle both waste vegetable oil as well as animal fat. Everybody always asks me, Bio Joe, how in the world do you make biodiesel? We start with waste oil, animal fat, or vegetable oil that we collect from waste cooking oil, waste frying facilities, and we bring it back. It looks like this when it comes in, it starts. So you can see some chunky stuff here in the bottom. All of that waste is product that we remove from the oil before we start the biodiesel production process. So step one, collect raw, nasty, waste, chunky, cruddy oil and filter and refine that oil. And then the next step after we filter and refine is we put it through a chemical process that removes this dark layer, which is called glycerol. Glycerol is a form of alcohol found in all animal fat and vegetable oil. And the next step after we remove chemically the glycerol is we also replace that glycerol form of alcohol with a different, which is methanol. So it's an alcohol exchange. So we take the raw oil, remove one form of alcohol, replace it with another. That creates biodiesel, which is this really light colored product on the top here. And we recycle and sell this glycerol as a whole nother product to a whole different industry. That leaves us with a finished product after refinement of straight biodiesel. This is 100% biodiesel. You can see how light in color it is and how thin it is when you shake it. And so this performs exactly like a regular diesel fuel if you put it into a vehicle. So no, no modifications required. Just put it in and ride. So from waste oil, we refine it and filter it. Then we add chemicals that rejects a form of alcohol called glycerol and accepts another form of alcohol called methanol. And then that creates a methyl ester. So it's a completely different chemical compound and it runs beautifully in any diesel engine with no modification. So I get asked a lot, Bio Joe, how in the world can I get a job or learn more about or work with your company, Green Energy Biofuels? And really it just comes down to, do you have the passion and the drive that you want to really get into this? And if so, we do a number of internship programs here in South Carolina. Uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, two-year colleges, a lot of tech schools that offer some biofuel related courses. And then if you just find yourself at a college uh, that you're interested in this, We've set up internship programs specifically individually for certain students to where those students can get college credits and learn about how we do what we do. And so to me, it's just, do you have the passion and the drive and do you want to do an internship? And if all those answers are yes, well then we'll figure out some way to make it work. It really comes down to what do you want to do with your life? If you're interested in biofuel, I would say almost any major that you would go through in college you could seek a job or employment with our company. Um, we've hired engineering majors, we've hired English majors, we've hired history majors, we've hired chemists. Um, there's so many different facets to this business that I need somebody that knows how to run a business and do logistics to plan the trucks to come in and out and haul our product. But then I also need somebody to fix and maintain those trucks and we have full-time people for that. I need people to drive those trucks. I need people to operate this facility to pump product from tank to tank and then maintain the pumps and the electrical controls and the valves that run the plant. So we need a little bit of everything. And so it's interesting, you know, it really just comes down to, do you want to be in the biodiesel or biofuel industry? The biggest challenges in my job are finding the right people to employ. And so we don't have high turnover with our business. But when we do hire someone, if they don't stay for six months to three years, then it's a lot of time and energy to train that person, train that person, train that person, and then ultimately have them go somewhere else and then have to start over at zero training the next person. That's probably our biggest challenge. You know, ultimately the product that we bring in, the waste oil, is being generated every day. We're in the South. Everybody eats fried food. There's no shortage of fried uh, waste oil, you know, to be collected. And so that demand's always there. And then on the back end, the customers that buy this waste oil that we refine, the demand is through the roof. If I could make a million gallons every day, I could sell a million gallons every day. And so our challenge is how do we keep 
and retain these employees that we bring in and highly specialized train them to do the job that we do. You know, just in the last three years, we've doubled our revenue and doubled our staff and built new plants and grown like wildfire. And so that growth can only be sustained by a good crew of employees. Oh, what do I like most about my job is it's always something different every day. So before I started this career, I was a uh, account executive for a bank and the, it was the same thing, monotonous. Every day I, I tried to help people get loans and that was just it. But with this, every day and every week and every month is completely different. So the last few weeks, all I've been doing is negotiating purchase of three brand new vehicles for our business. But last month I didn't deal with that. And the month before that I dealt with contract negotiations with big, huge manufacturing industries. And then the month before that I worked on the heating system design for this plant that we're in right now. And the month before that I worked on a wastewater treatment process design. And so every day it's different. You know, I'm, I'm dealing with employees um, as like a HR department management type thing. I'm dealing with logistics of trucks and negotiating contracts of when we buy waste and when we sell finished product. I mean, I'm into everything every single day and so it's always something new. I mean, I never get bored that, oh, what am I gonna do today? It's more like, oh my gosh, I've got so much to do today. What am I gonna choose to work on? My best advice for someone that wants to become a entrepreneur or as we have phrased it, a ecopreneur, is you just have to have that passion and that drive that no matter what, you're gonna succeed and you're not gonna take no for an answer.